I thought it might be useful and informative to just kind of do a side by side comparison of the Z790 Hero and the Z790 Dark Hero. They're currently running $699 for this guy and $549 for this guy. So I think it goes without saying that anyone with a brain shouldn't be upgrading from 13th gen to 14th gen because the performance is not significant enough to justify that cost. Uh, but I think the question is, is this board kind of optimized specifically for 14th gen worth getting when you could also run the, the previous version? Uh, so that's, that's a tough one. I am so far not, not convinced. So there are just three uh, M.2 slots on there, while there are five on here. But this is supposed to, I'm not sure if it was supposed to come up with a hyper M.2 card and, and this just didn't. Uh, either way, that's how that's supposed to work. Uh, and, and this, I think five is plenty. I have four. Uh, and if I put a fifth one in there, then it cuts the bandwidth of this uh, 16x PCIe slot in half. And I don't want that, obviously. So I'm good with four. Uh, meanwhile... Another difference I noticed is this has three pens for its Thunderbolt 4 power for quick charge uh, versus four for this. Does that matter? I don't, I don't think so. No, I don't think it does. The liquid cooling headers on both of these are pretty cool. I'd like to give it a try, actually, but I'm just so, so entrenched in aqua computer stuff that I, I couldn't see myself doing that but all the same stuff is there. One difference I do notice is they both have two of the USB 3.0 headers. Uh, this has the one here, but it also has this much beefier reinforced one, which is the only one I intend to use because uh, it looks like it will actually survive. Um, this has two more SATA plugs. This has two fewer. Uh, I am not... I'm not sure there's a huge difference. The The I.O. is identical on both of them. Um, yeah, they're very, very similar boards. Very similar. Um, it would be tough for me, knowing what I know now, to actually justify the $150 price difference. But it'll, it would be interesting to really do a deep dive and see if, if there is something that makes it worth it. Uh, perhaps the ability to overclock, uh, work with the the higher speed RAM uh, would make a difference. I don't know. I, I really can't say. But we'll see how they perform once they're in their respective systems.